how to create a calendar in Entresoft. Watch this video till the end to find out more. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a calendar from scratch. The beauty of this is that once you've done with this video you'll, be, you'll have your own calendar integrated inside your pipeline and Entresoft that you can send to clients, customer or prospects so they can book a call with you and you will get all the information from the call within your Entresoft and also you'll see that inside your calendar as well so as soon as someone confirmed a booking with you you will receive a notification you can also set up follow-up so basically you can send an email one day before the actual meeting or basically send an SMS one day before the meeting and maybe like one hour or two hours before the meeting just to keep updating them and you can have all of these functions automated however in this video I'm just going to go through how you can actually create a calendar I'm not going to go through the automation because that actually is going to be a little bit more extensive so I'm gonna do that in another video so let's begin once you jump into Entresoft you will uh, this is by the way the new user interface that I'm using so you have a calendar section in the left hand side and as you can see right now I don't have any calendars what you can do you can go ahead basically click on go to calendar settings it opens up this we don't have any calendar right now there's also another option to get to this place as well so on your left sidebar if you click on go back as you can see we jump back to where we were before then still on your left sidebar if you go all the way down to the bottom you will see a settings button then if you click on that you'll see all the settings options that you have and then again on the left hand side you will be able to see the business services calendars so go ahead and click on calendars this brings up the calendar settings as you can see right now I don't have any calendars so let's just go ahead and click on uh, create a new calendar all right you can name so there's three steps the first step is basically team and event setup so I'm gonna just name it uh, my application calendar for example and then the description uh, this is a free 30 minutes consultation call appointment title so this is basically a piece of code that will replace get replaced by your contact name meeting location uh, you can put it at zoom if you have any calendars linked you can select one so right now because I have my Google integrated to my Entresoft I can use my Google Calendar to link to this calendar so the beauty of this is let's say you have your own calendar that you have like I don't know like uh, other type of events like your doctor's appointment uh, your anniversary birthday and all those kind of things and you don't want to over, like book yourself twice so what's gonna happen once you have uh, this integration so let's say you have your Google integration calendar with Entresoft you can say that okay make sure that you block out those events that I have inside my Google calendar within the calendar that I'm creating in Entresoft so you don't get double book or something like that so for example I'm gonna go ahead and say okay these are all the calendars that I have I'm gonna say okay connect it to the birthdays uh, actually this one doesn't have the right to do that we can uh, select this one and I'm gonna make it two-way so basically whatever booking that I get within my Entresoft calendar is gonna go and reflect within this calendar my business calendar that I have and vice versa and which means that if anyone books something inside my Google business calendar it will gonna get reflected on my Entresoft as well now if I go ahead and click on save and continue we will go to the next step which is the availability so these are basically the slot you can have the slot duration to 30 minutes and the interval basically is going to be 30 minutes as well you can give it a little bit of buffer so let's say if one of your uh, meetings are finished you can say okay I don't want any meetings uh, I want to like a buffer of 30 minutes 
before the next meetings you can also have like only one meetings uh, per slot and also maybe like only three min uh, meetings per day you can also hover over this uh, question mark and it also tells you a little bit more about what uh, that section means scheduling notice this is very helpful so if you want to avoid people uh, booking right before the uh, session so let's say you have an a slot at 2 p.m. on Tuesday you don't want anyone to go ahead and suddenly book at 1 30 p.m. for your 2 p.m. slot because you need some time to prepare or maybe if it's not even zoom you have to be somewhere it's not gonna work so I usually put like one day uh, at least notice then you can define uh, your working hours so as you can see you can have different days with different times you can play however you want with these and once you're done you can just simply go ahead and click on save and continue and now we have the confirmation this is pretty much you don't need to change anything in here uh, you can if you if you want to you can have a custom form so you can choose your own form you can create your own form builder and basically collect the information that you want but by default uh, the information that uh, the calendar collects are pretty sufficient uh, we collect first name last name email address and phone number so pretty much everything that you need to uh, set up a meeting and also a reminder and follow-up so what sticky contact means is basically um, the software is going to use cookies on your on the website so put it this way if I get to your confirmation for the calendar and before that I was for example on one of your funnels and I already provide my email address name and phone number and subscribe to your uh, basically contact list and now I'm doing your application the system is going to automatically grab those information that I provided and it's going to fill it up so it's not going to look weird uh, from the user uh, user perspective that okay I just gave you my information why should I do it again so that just uh, auto fills it so it's quite nice and you can also send a live google calendar send invitation or upload emails to attendees which is good so additional notes so this is basically what they will receive after they confirm so they get uh, this link the cancellation link reschedule link and phone and email address you can update this to whatever you like you can also if you have your facebook pixel id you can put it in here so you can track the people that actually book a call with you and the custom code section is basically allows you to customize the calendar this is mainly HTML and JavaScript not the CSS so I wouldn't suggest to touch this part because it's it might mess up the uh, actual functionality of the calendar and then at the end we have the form submission so this is when they actually say okay confirm and confirm this booking so what you can do you can be either show them a custom thank you message which is something like this you can update this to whatever you like or you can send them to a redirect url so for example you can have a, a specific thank you page that you built and you want to send them there which basically thanks them and tells them uh, what they need to do before the meeting and what they need to kind of like what what they can expect uh, is going to happen during the meeting and also maybe if you are running an agency you can show the services and the other things that you have so something along those lines I have to go ahead and click on complete here we are it is created it shows up in here you can always launch it by clicking on this so I'm just going to open it up inside a new tab I'm just going to go there and this brings up my available time as you can see can go ahead and select one time and basically continue so as you can see inside at the top you will see the link so this is the link that you can actually use if you just want to give the calendar to someone to book a call with you so simply you can go ahead and you can actually continue and basically select the time and do this so let's say if I put like 8 a.m. on Thursday 8 a.m. for example select the date you go ahead fills up all my information that I have in there that I've previously provided I click on book an appointment and it just brings up in here and if there is any additional information just click on skip 
and that's it they can click on add to Google Calendar or add to Outlook that's pretty much it that's how you can actually create a calendar inside the Entresoft if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask me within the comment section and if there's anything else that you would like me to help you out with if you have anything that you would like to know more about calendars please do make sure that you put it down in the comment section however if you want to learn more about how you can do all of these how you can create your application or if you have any specific uh, business requirement that you want to get out of this uh, beautiful amazing software that we have make sure that you join uh, my membership um, I do provide one-on-one -on -one coaching technical coaching if you have any issues to make these easier for you so you can actually go on and do the things that you love about your business so make sure that you check that out once again please do make sure that you like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and also tap on that bell icon so every time i post a new video you'll get notified thanks for watching and i see you in the next one bye